Well, hello there. I hope you're all right. It's currently just afternoon on the 23rd of December. I realize I'm recording this very, very late indeed. I should have put something out a while ago, but been busy, so I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, what a year it's been, 2023. I think for me, personally, it's been quite a defining year for me. I'm really, really pleased for the most part on how it's all gone. And I hope you don't mind, I'm gonna be, allow myself to be proud of what I've done for a change. I'm normally quite humble about this, that and the other, but of course I need to do things to broadcast to the world what I'm doing. So I need to shout what I'm doing sometimes. Um, it really does help. So what have I done this year? Now, what's quite funny is at this point, 12 months ago, I picked up my giant TCR, but at the same time I was really cramming, I thought, cramming mileage in. I was trying to hit 5,000 miles for 2022. And at the time I was doing 135 miles a week at the end of the year, thinking that, you know, it's quite a lot of mileage to get done. Um, I've managed to do it. As of this morning, I have clocked over 7,500 miles this year. Quite a difference, 50% more. And taking into consideration that July, August and September on the bike for me were pretty light, like two rides a week light. So I wasn't doing much mileage then. And out of that 7,500 miles, of course, I did 12% of that in eight days. Of course, I set a still to be verified, come on, world record. Still waiting for Guinness on that one. And raised to date 7,200 pounds, which I'm proud of doing, because it all goes to Muscular Dystrophy UK. If you don't know, our son Alex, who, well, a point, he's upstairs. Uh, he suffers from Becker muscular dystrophy. He's mostly wheelchair bound and I do all of these silly challenges and events and this channel amongst other things to try and raise money for the charity that supports him and 110,000 other people like him in the UK. We're here to raise money to try and help these people. Of course, on the flip side, I would have loved to have raised a lot more money and as you may or may not know already, the reason I tried to do a world record attempt on this one was to try and legitimise any future attempts or potential sponsorship opportunities. Now, 2024, I'm not doing any charity rides. I'm having a year off from asking people to sponsor me. Of course, that's not gonna stop anyone, should they wish to donate. There's always a link in my description to the just giving, to just put some more money in the pot. If you want to do that out the kindness of your heart, it's fully, fully appreciated. Um, that and so subscriptions, I'm trying to get to the point where I've actually start to make an income. That's not happening at the moment, but I'm going to be pushing on with that. Uh, so seven weeks after the challenge itself, where I did 1,142 miles in eight days, seven weeks after that, I did a team Ironman which is something I said I'd never do, as in running again. But now I can officially state I'm never running again. It hurts these legs way too much, the knees, the tendons, the everything. So for me, it's concentration on the bike and the world around cycling. So plans for 2024, I've already mentioned this. I've got the Fred Witten. I'm aiming to do sub seven. I've also got a side project on the go with that, which is very exciting, very exciting, but I can't publish anything because it's on the back burner and everything's in place now. It's very exciting for me. I can't give you any spoilers or anything, but there's lots of people involved and some quite prominent people in the industry as well, which I'm super excited about, I really am. So I, hopefully it's gonna be the kickstart for, well, like this year, a kickstart, another kickstart for the channel for me for fundraising. One other thing that we will be doing is uh, going through a rebrand. The charity, Muscular Edition for UK, have gone through a rebrand, so they're not using this logo anymore. So what I'm doing, you've probably seen my Cycle Nation text on my bike. If you haven't, I'll put a little picture here. Um, they've had a complete rebrand, and I'm going to change my brand to follow in line with the charity. Same colours, same font, lettering, everything. I'm going to, I like to be fully partnered with them in everything that we do. I've got new gear, so new camera. I've got another camera 
and look, microphone. Hopefully this will come in handy out on there, but it makes this camera a bit clunky, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. And uh, yeah, lots of things in the pipeline. After the Fred in June, I've got the Dragon Ride. So if anyone is doing that, I've already booked my place onto that. And apart from that, I just want to get out and ride my bike a lot. But obviously at the moment, it's all indoors. I could have ridden this morning, but it was windy just before I got up. Really quite windy from overnight. And I, they say I couldn't be asked. Um, as much as I love riding with Kirby Lonsdale Cycle Club. Yeah, I'm a bit sick of washing my bike every time I go out at the moment, so I'm not doing it. But hopefully the quality of all of this will improve in time. Coming back out, I totally forgot something. Now, talking about the Fred and the Dragon Ride, I'm doing really specific training for this now. And I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible because the cycling world is full of science. And as much as that and the data is brilliant, I'm trying to bring it down to a can operate this in my head. Now, obviously I log all of the data on everything I do, that's on Strava, and then that goes on to VeloViewer, a subsidiary company, and it's just easy to work out. I've, um, I've burnt, I will have burnt 375,000 calories through exercise alone this year, which is a bit mental, it's over a thousand a day, but kind of no surprise. But one thing I'm doing, I'm gonna put, um, I'll fill the screen with something here. Now I'm trying to, bear with me, I'm trying to really simplify this. We use power to weight ratio and we use heart rate and they're two really good metrics what is a more reliable metric to use but obviously that depends on fatigue and the type of ride that you do how long your ride is this that and the other so what i've been doing since i think the start of october whether it be indoors or outdoors i've got a chart going where i log everything that i've done and then I have my watts per kilo and then my average heart rate. And the chart that I'm using as a metric is my uh, heart rate divided by my watts. Or watts divided by heart rate. Yeah. But you'll see that my average heart rate per watt is coming down. Or if you want to put it the other way, my power is increasing for the same heart rate. And it's a gradual, steady line, which is really pleasing. And I'm gonna be using this and using it as a, I mean, you'll see the chart, it wobbles all up and down, it goes over the place. But that is because I'm doing short rides, long rides, hilly rides, flat rides. Um, it, it, it goes all over the shop. So I'm using a trend line, which is just, it shows it trending upwards. And that is all I'm after. Or trending upwards. One thing I do need to do is start going on some longer rides because my longest rides at the moment are 100k. Uh, I did one a bit ago, uh, 80 miles. Uh, yeah, it's fine. 80 miles, decent power. That was good, under four hours with Tim, wheel sucking for the whole thing. But getting out, doing that, gonna get out, do some longer rides, and then obviously on the turbo, get longer and longer. So yeah, that's, that's the basic training plan for, for next year. Well, going on from where I already am. Let's hope that trend continues. Let me know what you've got planned and if you've got anything that's really interesting that I can potentially get involved in, give us a shout because I'm always up for partnering and coming to see people around the country and doing some rides with them should work allow. Obviously I still work full time on the side as well as doing this channel and all of the training and climbing and having a family and a social life. <laughs> a social life. I'd love to get out to the Alps at some point. I need to get out there. But yeah, I think next year I'm going to try and up the mileage even more. Sounds, sounds feasible. Lots of people do a lot more. Mind you, lots of people are retired and do this for a living. So one other thing, I've officially now registered my next world record attempt. It's not going to be 2024, as I mentioned. No charity thinks next year. But the date is penciled in and I need to start drawing a route again. It's about twice as long as the last one. Yeah, and logistically, much more difficult than June. So I am hoping to, in the new year, start getting in touch with businesses and companies to get on board much like I did this time. I'm gonna need some financial investment into this one from companies and people because, let's just say ferry or plane 
crossings aren't cheap. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, so, so I hope you have a great Christmas. Be merry, be happy. Love your family, love your friends. Go and have a great time. Enjoy the break, enjoy the New Year celebrations. I'm not sure if I'm doing a video between now and then. So have a wonderful time. I'll see you in 2024.